Canada, a country referred by many. It is said to be inclusive, multicultural, and equal, especially when compared to other countries. However, its past is far from that belief, and the Canada that we now know is very different from this bitter time. Many factories were built in Canada as a result of the Industrial Revolution. These factories required unskilled labor and provided very little pay to their workers. Children were the ideal factory workforce, but they had limited skills and so did not get much pay. Canadian children were forced to work in these factories with very harsh and unsafe conditions. They were abused, and they worked for up to 18 hours a day for a dollar. Stephen was a child in 1870s Canada forced to work in factories to support his family. Stephen worked in a factory for six days a week and six hours a day to earn barely six dollars. Due to the unregulated smoke in the factory, he developed severe breathing problems and was fatally ill. When I was eight years old, I lost two of my fingers while working with dangerous and unguarded machines. It was so sad because I wasn't normal anymore. Like everyone else, they, I wasn't normal. I didn't have two fingers, so I had to work harder. Instead of working 18 hours a day, I had to work 20 hours a day. He passed away soon after. His death was tragic. His life was miserable, and he was rarely ever happy. Although the story is fictional, it greatly reflects how children in 1890s Canada were mistreated and the difficult challenges they had to face. The factories were dirty, musty, and damp. It was difficult to work in these conditions. Many children developed severe illnesses due to the unsanitary environment. Even though the children were forced to work in these conditions, they were only paid a fraction of what adults would get. The conditions in these workplaces were very brutal and unsafe. There were many huge machines that the children were forced to use. These machines were unsafe and unguarded, resulting in many children losing fingers and for some, even death. They were only given 30 minutes altogether to eat breakfast and lunch, and they were not given any more breaks. In some factories, children were dipped headfirst into the water cistern if they became too tired to work. Children were expected to arrive on time similar to adults. If they arrived to work five minutes late, the overlooker would take a strap and beat them until they were covered in bruises. They would also be weighted. People who were weighted would have a heavy weight tied to their neck and were forced to walk up and down the aisles. This would result in a serious back or neck injury. Abuse was a major issue and problem in these factories. Many children would get abused and beat for irrational reasons. This is a young child in 2017. This is the 1890s equivalent. Children such as this one might have been working for up to 18 hours a day, which meant little time to rest, play, and go to school. This is a considerable change in life from now. Imagine working as much as doctors do from when you were five. Doctors on average work 59.6 hours per week. Some of these children work for up to 70 hours a week, more than modern doctors. Conditions and unwillingly worked unreasonable hours. However, now there are many organizations that were created and several laws that have been set to prohibit many types of child labor. While there is still some to this day, as definitely decreased and now, children have a much better quality of life.